Hey there, so you are now an SSP technical writing machine. Put on your party hat. But wait, we're not done yet. I know, I'm such a party pooper, aren't I? So now that you have a DOP SSP, it's time to move on to part two, the security assessment. That's step four, five, and six of the RMF. The good news is you've done most of the legwork by writing a quality SSP. So the assessment portion is not as much work. The main idea of the security assessment is to test the SSP and see if the controls pass or fail. Now you get it? That's why it's called a system security plan. It lists what we plan to do. Now we need to prove it by assessing the plan. According to the RMF chart, we're going to assess the security controls in step four. So basically all those security control implementation statements will have to be put to the test. For example, remember control ID AC4? It talked about automated session terminations. And our implementation statement says the DOP terminates the session after 15 minutes of an activity. Well, in step four, someone will need to verify that this is true and collect evidence that prove that it is. These evidences are also called artifacts. The person that will be doing the verification is called the assessor. And guess what? Since we are the ones that wrote the SSP, we're not allowed to test our own SSP. Why? Because this is a conflict of interest. I mean, it's like writing a test and then testing yourself with the test that you wrote. Doesn't make sense, right? Because you're prone to not give yourself a fair grade. So we need an independent assessor. The independent assessor should not work for the same contract company as the person that wrote the SSP. Because again, there's a conflict of interest. The auditor might be pressured by the company to pass the SSP. The first thing the independent assessor will need to do is create the security assessment plan, SAP. I call it SAP. The FedRAMP template site has one for us to use. The SAP is a document that describes how you intend to test the system. Sections to note in this document include your methodology. This is where you describe the different ways to validate the implementation statements. One of the method is to examine. With this method, you will observe or inspect. This could be perhaps examining a document for example, let's say the implementation statement says DOP reviews their access control policy once a year. The assessor can then examine the access control policy for a statement in the document that says this policy will be renewed every year. In addition, the assessor can also examine the document revision history to see if it is revised every year. A second method to test is to interview. This method is a statement from a DOP employee attesting that the implementation statement is true. For example, if one of the implementation statements says all changes to the network configuration must be approved by the CIO, well, we could ask the CIO in person or via email if he is the final approving authority for changes to the network. If he says he is, then we capture a statement with the date and time of the interview, sort of like this. On 10-16-2019 at 12.30 p.m., Mithis Pumbus confirmed that he is the approving authority for all changes on the network and reviews the changes on a weekly basis at the change review meetings. The third method of verification is technical testing. For example, if an implementation statement says the system locks you out of your system after five incorrect password is entered, well, if I have a DOP machine, I can intentionally enter my password incorrectly five times to see if I am locked out of my account. If this is true, I can take a picture of the screen and submit it as a proof of my technical test. By the way, all three method verifications should have the date and time listed on them when we document the test results. Your SAP will also include your security assessment schedule and a bunch of other items that we will go over during our simulation. Once you have your SAP, you can schedule a meeting with the stakeholders to go over your plan. Stakeholders is everyone you think that will be affected with the security assessment objective. Once everyone understands and agrees with the scope of work involved with your assessment, you can start assessing the applicable security controls using the security assessment report template. We will go over how to document your assessment in the next video. See you on the next one.